everyone, it's Hannah, and today I'm... Whoop, 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 whoop. Just kidding. Hey everyone, it's Hannah, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really cute 3D beaded spider. And it's made out of seed beads and wire. Da da da. Look at him, he's so jazzy. You'd want to go clubbing with him. He'd just light up the room, wouldn't he? Look at him. He's so sparkly. You can use various sizes of seed bead to make them. Make this little guy using size 11 seed beads, and the other two beasts I made using size 8 seed beads. I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't like to encounter one of these in my house. Or maybe him, because he's sparkly. Who doesn't want to see a sparkly spider, really? Think about it for a minute. Simbad says I'm talking too much, so I feel like he's right. Let's get on with the tutorial, shall we? Okay, so to make these spiders, what you're going to need is some seed beads. I'm using size 8 today for demonstrative purposes. If you're using size 11 seed beads, I recommend using a 0.2mm wire. If you're using size 8 seed beads, I'm using a 0.3mm wire. It's a little bit thicker and it holds its shape a bit better because the, be the beads are a bit heavier the bigger they are. And you're going to need about 1.5 to 2 meters of that. And you just want to fold it in half so you have a loop. You don't actually want to fold it flat. It's only so you know where the middle is. So to start with, what you will need to do is you will need to have two colours of seed bead. I am starting by picking up three of the silver colour and sliding those down to my middle loop, like so. Then I'm taking one end of my wire and I'm going, skipping that first bead, put him out of the way, we don't need him right now, and I'm going back through the other two beads. Hold them in the middle as you pull the wire so they don't move. Like so. Then on the other end of wire, not the one that you just put back through the beads, but to the other one, you are going to pick up four of the silver colour. I slide it all the way down to meet the other beads. And so once again we're skipping that first one and putting the wire through two. So we're putting the wire through the two middle ones, but not these two. Just these two. And be sure to pull it back down to meet the other beads. And so it looks like this. I've just bent them up so they're ready to go with the antenna. So now you're going to take one end of your wire, doesn't matter which one, and you're going to pick up three of the silver colour. Then you are taking the, so here are my three beads, and you're taking the other end of your wire and you're putting that back through all three of your beads. Like so. And then you pull those ends nice and tight. I have to start the pulling off camera because I have so much wire. The camera just gets tangled around the wire, trust me. And yes, you just pull that nice and tight so it sits like that. So for this next one, you're going to take one side of your wire again. Once again, it doesn't matter which one. And you're going to pick up one of the gunmetal hematite colour beads. One silver and one hematite. And you're going to take the other end of the wire and go back through all three. And pull that tight. And when you pull it, try to make it sit on top of the three silver beads. So they are on top of each other, not next to each other. And that's how we're going to get that 3D shape. And so from now on, I'm going to call one the upper tier, and that's the one with the eyes on, and one the lower tier, and that's the plain one. For the time being. So for the lower tier, we are going to pop on four of the silver beads. Once again, you can use any side of wire, and you actually can use any side of wire throughout all of this tutorial, so I'm going to stop saying that. So four beads, and same as before, going back through using the other side of the wire. And pull both sides tight. And because it's the lower tier, we want it to sit underneath the eyes. You can move it afterwards, I just find it easier to move it before. Legs too. Oh, his little face is starting to form. 
And now we're ready to start adding our first leg. Ooh. So for the legs, you can take one side of wire and you're going to thread on five of your gunmetal. Two silver, two gunmetal, two silver, and then five more of the gunmetal colour. You're then going to let those beads drop all the way down to the rest of the spider. And then much like we did with the antenna, we're going to skip that first bead, we don't want him right now. And we're going to go back through all the other beads. And you can scoot them up to push them on, pull the end a bit, and then push them back down. That's the easiest way that I worked out anyway. Because I found out I couldn't do it in one go. I don't have those mad skills yet. And then you're going to hold the leg very close to the rest of it and pull. And pull. And that is one leg done. Now you just repeat this process on the other side. Ta da! And that is two legs done. Woohoo! Look how happy he looks. I'm being made. So now we're going to do our upper tier as we did our lower tier just before we did the legs. And that is four of our silver beads. Three, four, that's five. There we go. Four of them. And then, much like before, passing the other wire back through them. Making sure it sits on the same side as where the eyes are. So the eyes are there. And I'm just pulling that nice and tight, making sure that that sits on top. And then we're going to do the lower tier, which is four of the silver beads. And then passing the wire back through the other way and pulling, making sure it sits underneath. So we're making sure that it sits just under there like that. And then we're going to form two more legs using the exact same method as we did before, putting the beads in the exact same order as we did before. So I'll be back in a second. So now he has four legs. He's halfway to being an arachnid. Woohoo! So now we need to do the upper tier because we did the lower tier just before we did the legs. So I'm going to take one end of my wire and I'm going to pick up five of the silver beads. One, two, three, four, five, and same method as always, other wire back through, like so, and pull the wire down, making sure that the beads sit on the side that the eyes are. Starting to get a bit of an arch going on now in the body. Now the lower tier is four of the silver beads. Pass the other wire back through them all, and pull the beads back down making sure that they sit on the underside of the body. Now we're ready to make another row of legs. In the pattern I'm using, it calls for shorter legs, which is what I did on my first little guy. See, it's got slightly shorter and the back ones are longer. Or on this one, I just carried on the pattern of all the other ones. So there's a couple of options for you. For the purposes of the tutorial, I'm going to remake this one. So I'm going to follow the pattern. So you're going to want three of the gunmetal beads, two silver, two gunmetal, two silver, and three more gunmetal. And then we're using the exact same technique as we did on all the other legs, skipping the first bead and going through all of the other ones. Then you're going to do the other leg in exactly the same way as this one. So now he's got six legs. So now we're going to do the upper tier of the spider, which involves picking up seven silver beads. And as always, passing the other wire back through all of them. I'm sure you've got the gist of it now. I'm sure I can stop saying it. So pulling it tight, making sure that it sits on top and we have a bit more of a curve going on. Then we're doing our lower tier, which is five hematite or gunmetal beads. Making sure that the lower tier sits on the bottom of the spider. There we go. You see it just finishes off that arch nicely. So now we're going to make the hinder legs. These ones are 
the longest legs of all. So this involves five of the gunmetal beads, two crystal, oh sorry, two silver, two gunmetal, two silver, two gunmetal, two more silver, two more gunmetal, and then five silver. So popping that down to meet all his friends, skipping the first bead because we don't need him in life and going back through all the other ones. I'm gonna make the other leg in exactly the same way. Yay! Now he's a full-blown arachnid with eight legs. So now I have an upper tier of nine uh, gunmetal beads. Like so. And the lower tier is six gunmetal beads. The upper tier of the eighth row is one hematite, three silver, one hematite, one silver, one gunmetal, three silver, and one gunmetal. like so and then the next here is seven of your darker color like so and then the upper tier of the next one is 12 of your darker color i sometimes find it easier to sort of push it out to pull the edges in close and then fold it upwards and then the lower tier is eight of your darker color so it's like that. And then the next one you're going to string one gunmetal bead, nine silver, followed by another gunmetal. And then the lower tier is six of your darker colour. It's getting quite a the bootay, I feel. This next one is nine of your hematite beads. And then the lower tier is four of your dark colour. Like so. Then the next one you are going to do three silver, one hematite, and three silver. And then the lower tier you are going to do two gunmetal. And then to finish this little guy off, or girl, who knows? We're going to finish him off with three hematite beads. Okay, so whereas we've always tried to sit them on the bottom or the top of your spider, just try and put it in the middle so it sort of closes up the hole at the back. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like so. And then to finish off your wire, you then... Then to finish off all your wire, go back through those two beads of the last row that you did and twist the two ends of wire together so you twist the two ends together for a bit and snip it off leaving a bit of a tail and you take that tail and you tuck it back inside so wherever is the easiest place to tuck it in really, just tuck it back in so it's completely out of sight. And there is your basic spider complete. And obviously you can shape the legs and do whatnot, and you can just leave him like that. But you may have noticed there is a significant difference, or maybe not that significant. This one is a lot more rigid and doesn't flop around quite so much and all of its rows are quite close together. Whereas this one's just kind of out there having a bit of a great time. So the way you can solve this is with monofilament thread. Crack out the old supple max, it's always useful. You don't need much of it. I'm just gonna say about a ruler length, about 30 centimeters or so. So I thread my needle and then I'm sure there are different ways you can do it. I'm just going to do 
whichever way I want. I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go in through the end hole and out underneath the first layer of beads and then I'm going to tie the end to the other length of thread so it doesn't just come out. Cool. And now we're ready to go. So this is all on the underside of your spiadra. So we are going to go underneath the second row and then we're going to get well we're going to go over the second row in between the second and third row and then up through the first and second row. Cool, I managed to do it off camera. This is when a curved beading needle would come in use. If you got one, use it. So you're going over the top of your second row, going through the gap between your second and third row and then underneath your second row and back up where the thread was coming out from. And then try and get it as close to the centre as you can and give it a bit of a tug. So then we're going to go down to the third row, going in the gap between the third and the fourth row. We are going to come up, go put, pop your needle under that row and hopefully, there we go, come up between the third and second row. And basically, we're just going to keep doing that the whole way down. because it just sort of pulls everything together. Okay, so I've just done the second to top row and then I'm going to place my needle in the gap between the antenna we made at the start and the first row of three silver beads. And I'm just going to pop that needle all the way through our spider and out the other end. Then you can just give that a bit of a quick tug and it just kind of brings it all together. See? Lovely. And then what I do is I tie these in a knot together. Just a normal knot. If you want you can put a blob of glue on it. It depends what you're going to be using them for. And then if you want to hang them, you just leave that end nice and long and then you can hang it and snip off the other end. Like so. And then all you need to do is shape its leggies and you're good to go. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Can't wait to see all of your creations. If you do decide to make these little spiders yourself for Halloween, Feel free to post a picture of it on Instagram with the hashtag the corner of craft so I can check them out for myself and you may be featured in a future video. If you did enjoy this tutorial, feel free to hit the thumbs up button just down there. Your support means an awful lot to me. And whilst you're down there, you may as well hit subscribe. I post two videos a week, one on a Thursday and one on a Sunday. And throughout the whole of October on a Sunday, I will be posting spooky Sundays, which is where I make Halloween related crafts. Shocking me as Halloween is at the end of October. Don't forget to check the description for more information, like wherever you can find the pattern, the written pattern to make these, so you can follow it along while you're watching the video. I'll also pop a link to where I bought all of my products. Not only will I have all that information in the description box, but I'll also pop all my relevant social media links so you can check me out and follow me on there if that's your prerogative. Thank you very much once again for watching, and I shall see you on Thursday for my next video. Bye! Been around the world, can't speak the language, but you put it on you explain it. My arachnid don't want none unless you got bones on. My humps, my humps, my humps, my humps, my lovely spider lumps. Check it out!